welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. Today I'm going to be doing a project pan update. So my last update was in September. That means I have about two months of usage on all the products and I'm really happy with the goals I have met. And after this, I'm going to do one more month and then I will do a finale in December, wrapping up the project pan year. And then I will be project panning again next year. So let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see me pan next year. I will consider it. And let's go ahead and dive in. So I have 10 items that I've been working on. Let's go ahead and start with my lip products. So I've got four lip products that I've been focusing on. The first one is the Long Haul Lipstick. So this is from uh, Makeup Revolution, and it is the Velvet Kiss Lip Crayon in the shade Chauffeur. It's what I have on my lips today. I do quite like this lipstick. I have just been using it all year, so I'm a little tired of it. But when I marked my progress on this, I was super impressed with myself, and I actually think that I can finish up before the end of the year. So this is all I have left. It is the tiniest little nub there. So that's very exciting in itself. I do have a tracker on my um, planner here that we can see. So right here is the lipstick. You can see the different markings and I have made a big jump from September to November. I have been really wearing this lipstick a lot more consistently. I feel like this is much more of a fall lip color for me, like spring, fall, winter, just not summer essentially. And um, because of that, I've been putting it on every single day when I do my makeup and I have even been reapplying it and that's made a big difference. So I have used this lipstick 177 times this year. I don't know how many times I used it in previous years, but 177 so far this year, and I'm determined to finish this before the end of the year. Now, to give myself some variety from that lipstick, I also brought in two other lipsticks. These both have the usage goal to use them each 15 times. So I just wanna kind of dabble with them. Um, I do like layering them with the uh, chauffeur lipstick, so that's been a strategy. I also enjoy them on their own. So let's start with the e.l.f. one. This is the e.l.f. Sheer Slip, Sheer Slick Lipstick. That's hard to say. Um, Black Cherry is the shade. And I have used this 10 out of the 15 times. So this is what it looks like. It is, in fact, you know, a sheer lip color, but I do enjoy it if I layer it on now. It kind of offers a little bit of slip, right, because of the sheerness of it, um, but also adds a little bit of depth. So I do like those paired together. I have used it 10, I guess now 11 times. The goal is 15, so this will be staying in. Additionally, I have this Tom Ford little mini lipstick. I got this as like a gift with purchase uh, once upon a time. And this is in the shade Casablanca. I also have the goal to use this 15 times and I have used it seven times. So a little bit further behind. And this is a nice berry shade. I'm really excited because Thanksgiving is right around the corner and this is the type of shade I can't wait to wear. We are going to Florida for Thanksgiving and with that comes like fun, you know, going out to dinner outfits and whatnot. And so that is definitely a lipstick I want to wear and rock on our trip. So I will be packing this. Um, I've got eight uses left to go, but I'm confident I can meet that in the next month. <clears throat> And then lastly is my Yummy Gloss from CoverGirl. This is the gloss that keeps on giving. I swear there was no possible way for me to use, you know, even more in there, and I still have. I am officially going to put this in my empties, though. It's at the point where the doe foot applicator in here is just reaching the very tip into the product, and it's really annoying to try to reapply it. So I use this... 50 times, 50 whole times. I didn't even have that much when we brought it into the project. It was like right here. So I can't believe that that was 50 uses, um, but I did enjoy this gloss. I have other glosses that I'm excited to you know, move on to. And so I'm ready for this one to be gone. Even though there's a little bit there, I'm okay and I'm happy with my usage. And that's it for all the lip products. Let's now move into cheek products. I have two blushes that I've been working on and they are both from Hourglass. So one is a single, this is a little mini size. I love that Hourglass has minis because they're much more reasonable for me to actually finish up. This is called Diffused Heat. I had the goal to use it 40 times and I have in fact used it 40 times. 
This I bought earlier this year, um, I suppose in the spring summertime, and I've really enjoyed it. So I used it 40 times. I love kind of the punchiness that this brings to the cheek. It is a little bit brighter, and I'm happy that I got to use it. So that is often one of my goals is to have usage-based goals just on my cheek products to make sure I'm using them all throughout the year, and I'm happy that I did that with that one. So that's officially rolling out. And then the other, um, actually both other cheek products are from this Hourglass palette. This is from 2020, I believe, and it is a quad. And this is what it looks like these days. I finished up the bronzer and the um, under eye setting powder, which is awesome. I have pan in the highlighter, and then I've been focusing on actually using both of these. So let's talk about the blush first. This is a nice kind of rosy blush shade. I had the goal to use it 40 times. I've used it 37. So I have three more uses on it, but obviously that's going to be very easy for me to hit in the next month. So I'm not too worried about that one. And then the highlighter, I had the goal to use it 50 times. I have well surpassed that. I stopped keeping track once I hit 50, um, but I do have a good little bit of pan there. And I think this is one of the products that I hope to pan next year because I would love to finish up a highlighter. I really love this particular one. Um, I don't know that I'll pan the blush, but if I could finish up the highlighter, I'd be really happy and like content with decluttering just the blush then. And I'd be really happy with the usage. So I think that's something I'm debating. Let me know what your thoughts are down below if you'd be interested in that or not. Um, but essentially I've got three more uses in that blush to reach my goal for this project pan and we'll see what the new year brings. Okay. I have a primer that I've been working on. This is my all time favorite primer from Fenty Beauty. If you caught my VIB sale haul, you saw that I just picked up another two of these. It's just my staple for every day. So my goal was to finish it up. I don't know where the marker was. It has rubbed off, but I have maybe one use left in there. You can see at the very bottom, there's a little bit of product, but this is not going to last long. So we can basically consider this done, which is awesome. Um, from the time I brought this in to now, I used it 40 times. Um, so I must have been, you know, up here a little bit. But like I said, I've already repurchased this. This is my tried and true, my all-time favorite face primer for my skin. So I use that every single day. And while this one is almost empty, I have another one ready to go. Speaking of Fenty, I also have the Fenty um, Translucent Invisimat Powder. This is a pressed powder, and my goal is to finish this up. So I do have more pan than last time. I have not officially completed it, and hopefully on the screen you're seeing the side-by-side -side comparison. So I have used this a few times. Let's see, according to my notes, I've used it 15 times since my last update. Um, and this has been great. I've traveled for a work event and I use this powder. I also like having this powder just in my bag. I'll probably use it tonight to touch up before I go out to dinner with a friend. Like this is just a really great powder for me to kind of grab and go. One thing I love about this powder is that the pan is removable and I've already repurchased just a replacement pan to pop in. So I think that's a really great design and I'm excited to just continue using the packaging because it's totally fine. It's very sturdy. So anyway, the goal is to finish this up before the end of the year to kind of like knock out one more powder, um, but I shouldn't have any problem with it. I might even make this a little bit more part of my daily routine um, as I'm getting ready instead of just my touch-up powder, but I'm happy with the results I have so far, and this is something I definitely think is not a problem to finish before the end of the year. Okay, and then the last item to update you on is an eyeshadow single. So this is from Wet n Wild. It is the Brulee. Uh, individual shadow here and this um, the goal I had was to hit pan and I well surpassed that so it took me 28 more uses from where I was to hit pan and now I am here hopefully you're seeing this okay so I just have product around the kind of outer ring I think what we'll do is we'll just update the goal to finish this all the way. I'm, you know, not that far away from doing it anyway, but for the sake of the project pan, let's just throw that in there as a goal. So I'll now be working on finishing this all the way up. And yeah, that is it for my project pan update. So as a recap, I have a few things that are kind of rolling out, a few things that are really close to meeting their goals. Um, and we'll just gonna kind of tie up loose ends, finish up these last goals before my December finale. And from there, we will look to 2025 panning. So I'd love to hear from you down below. Like I said, what would you like to see me pan in the new year? I'm always open to suggestions. And that's all I have for you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.